Rishi Sunak has his first face-to-face -face meeting with Recep Erdogan today since the Turkish president was re-elected last month, but it is overshadowed by a row brewing in Cyprus. A diplomatic blunder by Britain's High Commissioner to Cyprus Irfan Siddiq looks set to overshadow Rishi Sunak's first face-to-face -face meeting with the newly elected president of Turkey Recep Erdogan. There has been a huge backlash as a result of a recent meeting Mr. Siddiq had with UK expats living in the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus, TRNC, which is only officially recognized by Turkey. During the meeting Siddiq described the second wave of 1974 intervention by Turkey which in effect created the TRNC as a land grab and appeared to suggest that it meant the 1960 constitution for Cyprus no longer applied for the Turkish Cypriots. Worse still he likened Turkey, a British ally, to Putin's Russia. His comments have been taken as an offense against a key ally at the time of delicate negotiations on the future of NATO and there have been calls for Siddiq to be replaced. There are also concerns that the UK threatens to unpick the 1960 constitution then it could undermine Britain's claim to the territory its two bases occupy on the island. Speaking to British residents in the TRNC, the High Commissioner said of the controversial Turkey military intervention in 1974, from my reading there were two phases of that occupation and arguably the first phase was legitimate and the second was a land grab to consolidate, suggesting that the Turkish Cypriots had lost the rights yes established in 1960 when the UK ended its colonial rule. He said, the reality is they, Turkish Cypriots, are not going to have the same rights until you have a settlement, which is agreed. Because nowhere in international law in the UN will anybody recognize that rights can be accrued through a military operation.